If you incorporate this advanced image carousel effect in PowerPoint, your presentation will become clearer and more organized, effectively impressing your clients. Creating these slides is not complicated. Follow my channel, bookmark the video. I'll teach you how to do it. First, let's prepare several images. Usually, the sizes and proportions of the images we import are different, so we need to edit them to make them consistent in size. The first method, if you're using a Windows system, you can use the built-in Photos app to crop the images to a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. The second method, you can also import the images into PowerPoint, go to Picture Format, click Crop, choose 16 to 9 in aspect ratio, and select the appropriate part to crop. Import the adjusted images into PowerPoint and resize them. Enlarge the first image to fill the entire page, and place the remaining images on top. To make the images stand out, add a solid color mask. Insert a rectangle the same length as the page. Right-click and open Format Shape, set it to black, 45% transparency, with no outline. Then select the remaining images and bring them to the front. Add a white border to highlight them. Set the outline to white with a width of 1.5 points. Adjust their sizes and distances. Align the guides with the first image for easier positioning later. Next, duplicate a page, copy the background image, resize it to match the other images, place it behind, and set a white border of 1.5 points. Enlarge the second image to fill the entire page. Select the remaining images, bring them to the front, and move the subsequent images to align with the guides. Finally, select these two pages and choose the Morph Transition Effect in the options. Follow the same steps for the following pages. Add corresponding text to each page. Be patient and ensure the correct order of images to prevent animation errors. Preview the effect. This way, you have created a high-quality carousel effect. If you like this effect, try it yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.